What's going on, searchers? So lately, I've been getting a lot of messages from all of you guys on social media asking me questions about my nomadic lifestyle and living in hotels full time. So I thought I'd answer some of your top questions today. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Ashley and I have a passion for world travel. So when I lost my corporate job back in 2019, it only made sense and was a lot cheaper for me to put everything in storage and live full time out of a carry on suitcase. So I booked a one way ticket, hit the road in search of what the new normal of travel looks like. But more importantly, I'm in search of what my new normal looks like. I am the in search of traveler. Okay, searchers, so the number one question that I get asked is how do I afford full-time travel? The easiest way to do this is to just apply for a job that allows you to work anywhere in the world and live a nomadic life, ditch the apartment, ditch the car, and ditch any excess expenses that you have and live as cheaply as you can in hotels, hostels, Airbnbs, whatever your travel style is. Now. If specifically you want to know how I get the deals, a few weeks ago I made a video about how I score hotel deals under $50 a night at Marriott. I'll link that video up above. And I've also made videos on how to get cheap flight deals. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll also include a link to that video up above. I actually made a video that addresses specifically what kinds of things I do personally to earn an income on the road. So I'll link that video up here if you haven't had a chance to check it out. So the second question that I get asked a lot is why not travel in the United States? And there's a couple of reasons why, why I choose to travel outside of the United States instead of inside of the United States. What I've noticed is that most Americans, in my opinion, are traveling domestically right now. They're doing things like camping trips and beach trips that are outdoor activities, which is great, but that means that domestic flights are packed. I've seen so many photos on social media of full flights, which honestly doesn't make me feel safe. So far on my six months of traveling full time, I've never sat next to another person on an airplane and the majority of my airplanes have been pretty empty because most people, especially Americans, are not taking long haul international flights. For me, that makes me feel safer. Most of the hotels that I stay at are empty, so I really get to enjoy the property and have it all to myself. And let's not forget, that I'm paying usually 30 or $40 a night for these amazing resorts. The next question that I get a lot is, how do you make your hotel feel like a home? When I first started traveling, I would stay in a hotel for four or five days and then move on to the next location. Not only did I realize I do not like packing and unpacking, but I never really got a chance to get to know the staff at the hotel, to settle into the hotel, to get to know the location. So I quickly learned that I liked slower travel and staying in locations for a longer period of time. So I typically will stay in a place for four to six weeks. I really just take my time, get to know a location and almost become a local in that location. I go to the grocery store, I get to know the people, I get to know the lay of the land, and it really starts to feel like home. Once I start getting a little bit bored in the location, I realize it's time to move on. But the awesome thing is I'm not in a rush. I have all the time in the world. Well guys, that's all the time I have for today to answer your questions, but I wanna hear from you. What other questions do you have for me? And if I get enough of them, maybe I'll do another one of these videos really soon. Don't forget to like this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next week. Bye.